This is a Ferguson radiogram RG401 model from 1954. At the time it was the latest technology that was available and let's see how it works. So we'll lift the lid and on the left hand side is the uh, record deck and the right hand side is the radio with four bands. The front, four controls, bass, treble, volume and on and off. So we'll switch it on. The light on the front there comes on under Ferguson. Let's wait for the valves to warm up and I'll have a look at the radio. So the radio has four bands short wave, medium wave, long wave and what they call band 2 in 1954 FM or VHF as it became in the 1950s very high frequency um, hadn't been named yet so hence band 2 down here you have the tuning for the radio and the control for first one is gramophone band 2 or VHS or FM long wave, medium wave and short wave. So we put on to FM or band 2 and you also see what's called a magic eye uh, switches on and that shows you how strong the signal is. So if we move it on to long wave and to radio 4 if you move it away you'll see how the signal gets weaker and tunes back in, becomes stronger and the green light, the eyes, closes. Put out a medium wave and this is Radio, Radio 5 Live, so that's a much stronger signal. Now if we move away from it, there the signal becomes weaker. So let's look at how the deck, record deck works. So I'm going to gram. In 1954, this was the latest technology that was available. So you have here the three speeds: so 33 for LPs, 78s for what's called the normal records at the time, and 45s for the new sing singles. Here's the start and eject uh, lever. This is where you set the size of record, so it's on 12 inches at the moment. Comes up for 10 inch records, pull it to there. 7 inch records, singles, you pull it to there. In the middle of the turntable is the spindle, which is on an angle, like that, because of what was called a shelf record changer. So the records will be loaded, will be on an angle, and one will be pushed across from the left and then down the spindle and onto the record deck. Put that back in. And it was pushed by this little lever here, which will come forward, a little piece of metal, push the bottom record on the stack of records across and down the spindle onto the turntable. When you switch on the, the turntable, you start to spin and this arm here would go across and if there was a record then it would allow the record to be played. But once all the records had been played and dropped down onto the turntable there would be no more records stacked. Therefore when this comes across it would go to about there and then it would say that was the end of the cycle and the record deck would stop. The turn arm has a lightweight, lightweight crystal pickup under here. It has two needles, one for long playing records, that's the 33s and 45s. If you turn it over, it goes to N for normal, uh, that's for 78s. And that was a 
wider needle for the wider grooves. And really it was the other way around that it was a, on for long playing records with a very, very small needle, very narrow needle in, in diameter to play the micro grooves on LPs. So I'll show this manually. So you, you started off by pushing that round. Turntable would turn. The tone arm raises. This arm would move across. So I'll just hold it there. So it thinks there's a record in. And then this little piece of metal here will come forward to push the record on the spindle, across and down the shaft, drop down onto the record deck. The arm then goes across, it's set as a seven inch record, and the arm drops down onto the record. Shall we demonstrate in a minute? At the end, the Record. The mechanism would engage. The arm lifts up. The sensor arm moves across. That would check there's no more records to be played. Arm goes back again. And the tone arm goes down, and the mechanism switches off. So I have a demonstration about how the different types of records played, so I'll switch it on. Get a 12 inch LP. Set it to 12 inches. Put the record on. Lower the balance arm just to stop it from wobbling so it doesn't wobble too much and then start the record record drops down arm goes across and it plays a record you can reject it at the end like that arm goes up sensor goes across mechanism stops At the end, you'd lift that up, lift out the spindle, and take off the record or the stack of records. So, just look at how a 78 would play. Set it to 10 inches, set the speed to 78, turn the needle over so it's on the 78 needle. A record on or a stack of records, lower the balancing arm to make sure it doesn't wobble, and this happens much faster speed. So start it, sensor arm goes across, record drops down, record goes on, record plays. At the end, it would switch off like that. So I lift the spindle out, take the record off. To play 45 at the time, you set it to 45, turn the needle over, so it's on the alpha long playing micro groove record. You'd also use this spindle, the large spindle for which 45s were originally invented by RCA in about 1948-49 and it has what's called a knife changer. That's how it drops the records from the stack onto the turntable. So let's put it in the hole, twist it so it locks, set it to 7 inch, put a record on, 
um, and then switch on the deck. Cross goes to the sensor arm, record goes down, and then the record starts to play. At the end, it would automatically finish. No more records to play. And it switches off.